This tutorial is aimed at helping beginners to understand line types in AutoCAD, line types being our dashed lines. And for this tutorial, I've brought in three different sized objects, all drawn at real size, which everything should be in model space. I have this logo for recycling, a couple walking past a car, and then at the very large end, a 400 meter athletics track. Obviously, these three objects being very different in size will have different line type requirements. To start off with, type in LT and enter and that brings up the line type manager. You'll notice in here that there's always going to be a line type called continuous. To add any more you'd need to click on the load button and choose from the menu. I'm going to choose hidden 2 which is one I use quite commonly. Also remember to click on the Show Details button. It has very important information down here, including our global line type scale factor, which is currently in by default set to 1. Increasing that factor increases the size or the scale of our line types. Taking it down reduces them. But for now, we'll leave it set to 1. I'm going to create a new layer called dashed lines I'll give it a color and also change the line type from continuous to hidden to so now anything that I draw on that dashed lines layer will come out in the hidden to line type I'll set that current Let's draw a few sample lines here. Now you can see even though these lines are on the dashed lines layer, they appear to not be dashed. However, if we zoom up, you'll see that the dashes are just really small. Now the reason for that is that these line types are designed at a size which would be similar to something you would draw by hand on a piece of paper. So little dashes which are only a few millimeters long. In order to see them correctly in model space, you would need to adjust the line type scale to whatever the output scale of your drawing was going to be. So for instance, let's say we intended printing this little logo at 1 to 5. I'm going to type LTS for line type scale and enter and change it from 1 to 5. And that's done the job. Obviously for something like the car, that's still too small. If I was working on this, I would need to type LTS and take it up to something like 20. And that makes it suitable. For the athletics track, which is much bigger, you'd be looking at a factor of something like a thousand. So this LTS or line type scale is simply a value that we can either turn up or down. I'm going to set that line type scale back to 1 to show you how we deal with different objects in a drawing or different sized objects when we come to print them out. Now quite often people have a requirement to things like detail sheets show multiple objects at different scales but want to keep the line types consistent. What I'm going to do here is draw two new viewports side by side. We're going to put the little recycled logo in one. Let's give it a scale. Let's say 1 to 5. This is an A4 sheet. And on the right hand side, let's take the car and set that to 1 to 50. So we've got 1 to 5 on the left, but 1 to 50 on the right. I'm going to type in LTS. It's set to 1, which is correct. I'll regenerate the viewports. And you can see that those dashed lines are coming out consistent over both, even though both objects are at different scales. So the rule is, in model space, 
simply to make these suitably visible type in LTS and change the scale so from one I'll change it to five because I know I wanted to print it at five and that gives me then an indication of how that line type will look in paper space when I go back to paper space I need to set it LTS back to one in order to keep them consistent across viewports now this only applies really if you do have different scaled objects in different viewports if I bring up the line type manager again you'll notice that there's a little box here it says use paper space units for scaling by default this will be ticked Now, when that box is ticked it gives you the ability to have different scaled objects in different viewports and this line type will be kept consistent the only thing though is that when you move back to model space you're going to need to type in different uh, line type scales in order to see the line types correctly but coming back to paper space you would always set that global scale factor back to one now in, in a lot of cases you may just be working on one sized object like the car for example in which case it's easy enough just to set your line type scale to something like 20 and keep that consistent for the duration of the job you'd never need to change it again let's just get the car side by side here two different scales LTS I'll change that back to one so there you can see that consistent line type is running through between the two of them now in some industries you may want that line type to reduce as the object is reduced as well by scale and if you're wanting that effect type in LT simply untick the box set your global scale at something like the 20 for example and you can see now that in the right hand viewport here the line type has reduced with the object so effectively what you see is what you get in paper space and in model space if that line were divided into 50 dashes you would get exactly the same in both viewports regardless of the scale if you want to keep those lines consistent across objects even of a different scale in your line type manager tick the box and set your global scale to one in paper space and there you can see they're consistent now so that's something which will differ from industry to industry and personal choices by different draftsmen as to how they'd like to present their drawings one other thing with adjusting line type scales is it can be done individually not just globally if I set this global line type scale to 20 let's just say I wanted to reduce the scale of these dashes over here one option is to open up the properties of that line and what you'll notice here is that there is a personal line type scale of 1 which is assigned to every object if I take that down to 0.25 as an example you'll see that those dashes are now a quarter the size of what they were let's take that back up again to 1 so that's another option then in increasing or reducing the scale of your line types within a set global line type scale so remember LT for line type adjust your global scale here keep the little box ticked if you'd like to keep the line types consistently sized between viewports untick it if you would like the line types to reduce or increase as your object increases or reduces within that viewport so I hope that's helpful in starting to understand line types in AutoCAD